What's up, everybody? My name is Floppy Wand. Today we are playing Hogwarts Legacy. And I timed this very poorly. I'm looking at Steam here. Looks like the game's unlocking. But uh, I don't know what the f it's doing. The game's already downloaded. But it looks like it's going real slow right now, so I'm curious how long this is going to take for it to do its thing, moving files around, doing all that. So we we might be waiting for a bit. It doesn't give me a time here, so I'm, I'm just waiting to see. How's everyone doing? How's chat doing? Let's scroll up here. Hi, Ray. Is Ray back? I think she uh, she left for a bit. Hi, Medusa. Thank you for modding today. Hello, everybody. Ollie Duncan. Hi, everyone. Hi. Ryu, I got my wand. Fat belly. Fancy stick wars. I, I, I know almost nothing about this game. It looks pretty good, though. Seriously, what is going on here? Downloading 3%. So I have downloaded 68.6 .6 of 69.6 gigs. And then it's installing, it says, 7 gigs of 72.9. And it's going pretty fucking slow. It's We're at 4%. So it's like a file movement thing going on here, I think. Uh, Lord Death, what are you doing? Good to see you. How you doing? Coffee time. I just made a coffee. That's why I was a minute late. The Harry Potter bit, but floppy. <laughs> floppy Potter. <laughs> Fuck, why didn't I think of that before the stream? Floppy Potter. God damn it. Andrew Walton, how you doing? Good to see you. Catman44, I'm here with my coffee for now. ISP is doing service in the area. Meh. Yeah, that always sucks. Red X, floppy one, question mark. Yeah, I put that in the uh, community... Post, yeah. Floppy sword, floppy wand. We're playing a fucking Harry Potter Hogwarts game. I thought it was obvious. Fancy stick collecting at its best, says Fat Belly. <laughs> Fat Belly, Zompier cert needs finished, please. Fuck, maybe we can finish the game while we're waiting for this. We might do something else while we're waiting for this. We'll have to see. MD, hello, hello, everyone. Hi, MD, how are you? Hi, Quisp. Floppy to become Voldemort. I said the V word. The other V word. Voldemort don't exist. It's 1800 something. Yeah, it is. I don't know anything about the game. What? So this takes what, like 100 years before the Potter stuff? Quisp Viagra. <laughs> the other V word, yeah. It's vagina. Volva. Volva, yeah. Okay. You got an insurance ad, MD? So do you how many of you get ads at the beginning of the video? I should probably look at my ad settings closer. Maybe I can turn that off. Hi Fluffy. Hi chat fam. How are you all doing tonight? I'm good, Mandy. How you doing? Good to see ya. Master Debater. GE covered Zompiercer well enough. Who the fuck GE is? Virgil. Floppy, every time you loaf the game. Oh, load the game. It loads shaders, and the first one took a few minutes for me. So the game, uh, I didn't buy the deluxe version. I bought the, the normal peasant version. Uh, I didn't even realize, because I bought this first, and I didn't realize the deluxe version actually released on Tuesday. So we could have been streaming it since Tuesday, but I really don't give that much of a flying fuck so i just thought we'd do a friday long stream because i didn't have any plans today uh but now yeah we're at eight percent now so <laughs> nine percent so it's going pretty slow i killed ten percent almost keep talking here Ryu or flopped or what are we talking about i've been watching gameplay of this well it is good floppy thank you black that's good i look forward to it i've watched maybe 
total a few minutes, maybe five minutes of it. Uh, just some guy, I think it was Asmongold, was running around. Uh, I didn't really understand what he was doing, but just the gameplay, the movement, the open world, it all, all looked pretty cool. I've heard good things. But we let you judge it yourself, bud. The black. Yeah, we'll see how pissed I get and jump into Elden Ring in fucking five minutes. <laughs> Yeah, goblins are now the new evil. Place in the 1800s, says Andrew. Okay, cool. Uh, I gotta be honest, I've watched the Harry Potter movies. They seemed good, but I felt like... I feel like if you didn't read the books, you kind of missed out on all of the cool little nuances in the movies that us uh, normies that didn't read the books uh, uh, wouldn't have picked up on. That's the feeling I got when watching the movies. So I didn't really enjoy them that much. They were good, but I felt like they were skipping ahead of things and like there was unexplained things that I didn't really get that you kind of needed the books for. Maybe I'm wrong, but... This is about the Great Goblin Rebellion, says Ryu. Poppy Kryptonite equals bring on the Petronus Rope. Petronus Rope? Petronus. The Kryptonite in this game will probably be me trying to say words. Uh, Ryu, shaders are commonplace. I am super addicted to the game. Happy to see you play it, says Ryu. That's good. You bought it this morning, you said, right? Lord Death. No one at school, you all will know all because of their time. Jesus Christ, Lord Death. I love you, but what the hell did you just say to me? <laughs> uh, game plan of the day, watching Data Drip. Yeah, this is this is brutal. I probably should have scheduled this stream for like 1.30. I mean, we're 10 minutes in and it's 13% done. That's pretty bad. So I think what I might do is boot up a different game for a bit and play it. And I'll keep this going in the background. Hopefully it keeps going <clears throat> and I can force it. Kiwi the pro in the house. Um, it might let me know if I'm talking too loud into the mic. I have I move my monitors around, so I now have my chat monitor on my right side instead of my left. So instead of facing this way where I'm talking, looking at the chat, I'm now turned into the mic more. So hopefully it's not loud. Bobby, not seen anyone play Harry Potter. Been waiting for you to see if I like it enough to buy it for Switch. Is it on Switch, Mandy? That'd be good to know. I'd, I'd buy it uh, for my daughter. She seems interested in it. But uh, we haven't looked yet. But you said, I never read the books, but I did enjoy the films. Love all that magic and stuff. They were cool, yeah. Yeah, I think I probably slept through most of them, though. I'm one of those people that go to a, like an action-packed Marvel movie and shit at the theater. And 12 minutes in, I am snoring my face off. It's just so comfortable and the air conditioning is hit hitting you and I probably didn't sleep well. I just passed the fuck out. Welcome in, everybody. We're waiting for the game to unlock. It's currently doing a whole downloading file transfer thing right now. Looks like it's going to take a bit. Uh, so if you're just joining us, uh, we're just waiting for that. We'll kill some time here in a bit. I'm just going through chat. Well, I've not seen anyone. I read that. Kimberly Stevenson, good to see ya. Loved all the books. I read all the books and just a couple of the uh, edited to death movies, says MD. Uh, Ryu, yeah, I got it this morning. Good news is you won't have to say much. I care to say everything. Perfect. Such a high quality in this game. Good to hear. <laughs> Lord Death. There's no one in the school that you will know. They're all different people. Sorry, but no worries. Yeah, I, I think I saw that um, some of the professors were, they had some common last names or they were like the grandparents or something or parents of some of the popular characters. Again, I, I don't know. I very, very, very little of any of that shit. <clears throat> Cat Beanie wondered why the screen was all blurry. Thought it was me. It was set at 140. Yeah, that'll do it. Uh, Medusa audio is good. Good, thank you. Uh, GE equals game edged. Oh, okay. I hope I get big enough that people can just put FS and know who the fuck I'm talking about or they're talking about. Feel like you was being sarcastic though. Volumes are good. Uh, no, I wasn't being sarcastic. I know game edged. I just never would have put GE together. For me, that's General Electric. 
like when I'm buying appliances. Volumes are good. Don't play another game. Just bullshit with us for a bit, says Master Debater. All right, we'll keep talking. Sounds good. And I'm a bit deaf, says Cat. Andrew Walton, I hope it's on Switch. I will get it. Yeah, was that question answered? I haven't looked yet. <clears throat> Cots. How you find no one survived, brother? I like it a lot. There's a lot to do. Uh, we're going to do a good stream of that again soon. Probably this weekend. Looks good. So there's no delay here. I'm just slow reading. I'm letting the chat kind of fall back a bit. Hey, masturbator. I feel like you're being passive aggressive, but that's just me. Yellow else is right. Nah, he's good. You're all good. Everyone's good. I only watched the films to see Harry's big, powerful wand. This is Pat Belly. Virgil, July 24th is a Switch release and Xbox and PlayStation Zero. Okay, cool. Thanks, Virgil. I'll probably buy that for my daughter. This seems like a game she'd, she'd be, be in love with. Puffy T, member for one month. Sword, sword, sword. You missed your opportunity to throw some wands in there. Thank you, Huffy T. Appreciate that. Uh, speaking of Virgil, let me see if I can replay this. Virgil, before the stream even started, dropped a $25 bomb. So thank you for that. Maybe his time zones are messed up. They're not messed up. 1 p.m. Eastern is when it released, so 15 minutes ago, yeah. We're good. It's it's unlocking. It's just taking forever. I'm at 23% now. So. Hey, everyone. Good morning. What's up, JW Cleveland? How you doing? Slappy Sandman is lurking. That's fine. Yes, it advertised yesterday for Switch, Fluffy. Okay, Mandy. Thank you. Yes, I pass aggressively on all conflicts, says Master Debater. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. Again, we're just waiting for the game to unlock. Everything's good, though. It's doing its thing. We're just... It's slow, so... Cat, apparently, Ravenclaw is the worst to pick as far as tasks are concerned. Um, okay. No uh, spoilers, please, today. I will freak the fuck out. Where's my thing here <laughs> I won't freak out no spoilers though please um, that wasn't a spoiler I know that but just uh, just warning people now as we go uh, da I don't know how to say your name dark tech you playing Hogwarts Legacy floppy I, I we are it's unlocking right now and it's taking forever Um, so it's at 19.2 gigs of 72.9 gigs of file transfer. So it's transferring. I already downloaded the game and now it's doing that stupid thing where it's moving stuff around. It's probably going a little bit slower than uh, with me streaming and having 100 things open as well, which probably doesn't help. Uh, it's probably taking so long because everybody trying to get on all at once is Andrew. It's my it's the computer and stuff. I think I think it's. It's a disk usage thing. So the game is zero download because it's already downloaded. It's just whatever. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Reminds me of my Navy stuff, says Ryu. I just got here, by the way. Welcome in. Good to see you. It's probably taking so long. Read that. Hi, Spicy Knight. How you doing? Spoiler, you play a wizard, says Ryu. Fuck! Fuck! Ra Ryu, god damn it. And some thin ice. Anyway. Okay. Kill Dumbledore in the first scene to complete the game early. Since that's it. Uh, so let's just do a notice right now. Uh, any, uh, we have a zero tolerance thing going on today with any of the JK rolling, rallying thing. Uh, any of the drama stuff going on with it. Uh, I'm not taking any sides uh, publicly about any bullshit. We're playing a game today. Um, I think Asmund Gold said pretty much everything that I would say. And uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. The mods are going to be on kind of a high alert, especially with any gray names or unknown people that come in the chat and just start being bullying dickheads. So all of that will just not be happening today. We're just going to have fun, play a game, fuck around. 
Also, thank you to the mods for being here. Thank you for everything you do. Ray, did you finish the cake? I might be the only one here not buffed on Harry Potter, just here for the flop comedy. Master B, I don't know shit about Harry Potter. I've watched the movies, but like, I don't, I don't know shit. What are the hard drive space requirements? Haven't looked at it. Uh, downloaded 69.6 and it looks like it's, I think it's only, I'm packing 72.9. It's like, it's not even, it's barely compressed. I don't know. I didn't see the spec page though. We could take a look though. Let me see. Storage, 85 gigabytes of available space is required. A minimum of a GTX 960 with four gigs. Minimum uh, i5 6600 or an uh, Ryzen 5 1400. An SSD is preferred. HDD is supported. Uh, those are the minimum specs. They're not the, the recommended. For the game, I haven't even read the description. Hogwarts Legacy is an immersive open world action RPG. Now you can take control of the action. Be at the center of your own adventure in the wizarding world. It's an RPG set in the world first introduced in the Harry Potter books. So the world that they talked about in the early days, I guess. Embark on a journey through familiar and new locations as you explore and discover magical beasts, customize your character and craft potions. Master spell casting, upgrade talents, and become the wizard you want to be. So I don't want any spoilers, but are there um, mounts in the game? Can you ride around on anything? Or do you just run everywhere? Uh, experience Hogwarts in the 1800s. Your character is a student who holds the key to an ancient secret that threatens to tear the wizarding world apart. Okay. Make allies, battle dark wizards, and ultimately decide the fate of the wizard in world your legacy is what you make of it live the unwritten can i be a total dickhead bad guy can i be a piece of shit uh just don't tell him about dobby says cat uh, okay i don't even know who that is what that is i've heard the name i think i can't find the brooms says nicole Tell them, Floppy, we are here to enjoy you playing a game, nothing else. No, Floppy, I'm making the rose petals out of chocolates right now. Can we get some birthday cakes in the chat? Happy birthday to Ray's daughter tomorrow. I doubt her daughter watches this, but... I hope uh, she has a great birthday. Again, thank you, Virgil, for the donation. Uh, with no message attached, appreciate that. And Huffy T for the the membership message there. All right, close this shit. Let's open this shit. How are we looking? We're at 38%, so. I believe you can, Floppy. Is that about the mounts? Right, it's a vanilla funfetti inside, and then I'm going to frost it with pink frosting and add white and red, red roses. Sounds fantastic. And ship me a piece. Fat Belly, thing I hate about the Harry Potter films is the consent constant theme music when they want. Sorry, I'm 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 slow. Thing I hate about the Harry Potter films is the consent theme. Fuck. You, you said consent, but you meant constant. Let me try again. I got this. Don't worry about it. thing I hate about the Harry Potter films is the constant theme music when they do anything. In real life, it would drive me nuts. With AI and stuff, eventually we'll get there. We'll have fake eyes that are connected to fake ears plugged into our little mushed up brains with wires that transmit fucking music in different situations to 
to modulate our organs properly based on what we're hearing. Friday night wizards question mark. Now we're just staring at a fucking just chatting screen right now. It's a blast. That's all right. You know what I should set up? I should have like a screen set up where I can uh, open my browser and we can watch some shit while I'm waiting for certain things. I can't do that right now. I don't have it uh, set up for that. But uh, definitely something to add in the future. Think about we're at 42%. <laughs> Thanks for being here, everybody. <laughs> Goodbye. Sorry. Yo, Floppy. Yes, play as a villain, man. All I see is everyone playing as a do-gooder, lol. It would be cool to see the darker side of this game. Please tell me that you can do that, because I am down to be kind of a piece of shit. So, Sam, man, you walk, run around for the first few hours, then you learn broom. Oh, okay. Then more interesting methods of transportation, but there is a quick travel. Okay, cool. Thank you, Slippy Sandman. Ray, I, I will show it to her. Okay, cool. Hope she has a great day tomorrow. Ah, uh, yes to mounts, and yes, you can be evil, says Andrew. Cool. Master Debater, I wouldn't sweat it. Your mods seem to be doing a good job from the streams I have watched. Absolutely. MD words are hard. <laughs> that's not all. That's okay. Not let's not start floppy. That's not all. That's hard. <laughs> he went there. He fucking went. There. I'm gonna drink some coffee now. Oh god, yeah, that's good. I have a massive mug right now, Lord Death. <laughs> gummy bear center. I miss the gummy bear stuff. Hi, the Jack. How you doing? Uh, if you're just joining us, welcome in. Uh, this sucks because I'm sure I'm losing quite a few viewers because they're just seeing the just chatting screen. We are waiting for the game to unlock. It has unlocked, but uh, there's some file transferring happening here, and it's not the fastest process in the world. Uh, we're at 48, sorry, 45%. Uh, hopefully that speeds up. Uh, if not, that's fine. You you can play as a piece of shit, Floppy. Good to know. Is it Ark Kite? Yeah, Ark Kite. I was trying to say Dark Kite. Okay. Ark. Gotcha. Kimberly Stephenson. Steve, Steve, Step, Step Henson. Step Henson? Step Stevenson. Step. Step. Stephonison. I have a sign in my house that says words are hard. <laughs> After I just absolutely stomped your name out. Sorry about that. James Dodd, I straight up drunk a gallon of coffee. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a few big mugs in right now. I have a massive mug here. You almost have to two-hand it. Uh, Master Debater, when I uh, when I game, I enjoy playing the most underdog characters slash items. The challenge increases the reward. I like that too. Um, I'm doing a, a whole new replay vanilla Skyrim right now on a uh, on the Switch in my spare time. It's been kind of fun, and um, I've played as kind of like a I've joined the Thief Guild before and stuff, but. Right from the start, right away, I'm playing a whole piece of shit thief uh, theme. So, like, intro, the guy that's, like, taking me to his uncle and all that stuff, I'm just fucking looting everything out of their pockets right off the bat. It's been a lot of fun. Taking my time, reading some of the lore, the books, everything's good. A massive mug, says Ryan Nut. Did I say nut? <laughs> you are now known as Ryan Nut. <laughs> Hi Ryan, how you doing? King Johnny, hello Floppy, how you doing? Welcome in everybody again, sorry, we're waiting for the game right now. Uh, we're 51% done, so we're about halfway there. I, 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 it looks like I should have started the stream an hour later, around 2. I even thought of that, but I wanted to get in here and get this going. Everyone messes up my name, it's no problem. There's a lot going on in there, you know, like... For an English language, you know, the way that we interpret words, there's a lot... Like, your last name is like a word puzzle that you could extract probably 400 small words from. Ryan, hi, I'm back from a while ago. Hi, Ryan Nut. 
<laughs> My bad. Virgil, be a vampire, Floppy! <laughs> oh, in uh, Skyrim? Yeah, I haven't done that yet either. I don't think I have. I don't know. Who has a dad joke for the the wait? Says James Dodd. Fat belly. They should have had Samurai Samuel L. Jackson play the part of Dumbledore. Just say motherfucker the whole time. Like it's such a, like a chill wizardry professional magic place. And he just comes out with some motherfuckers. Bruh. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Ryan. <laughs> Kenneth Williams! I want Hogwarts Legacy so bad. This game looks amazing. Dun, 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 dun. James, did you hear about the guy who tried to catch fog? He missed. That's MD. Nice. Virgil, yeah, Skyrim, LOL. I mean a wizard vampire, though. I kind of remember reading over this stuff. Maybe, maybe I was a vampire years ago. I can't, I don't know. I've played that game a lot. Back on console, console days. Back in my day! 100 points to Gryffindor. That belly. So what are all the uh, houses again? Can someone explain the houses to me? Without spoilers, no spoilers, please. Gryffindor is obviously the, uh, the Harry Potter goody two-shoes one, right? And then everyone knows Slytherin, right? Because of uh, the, the douchebag with the slicked hair. Uh, and then, like, what the hell are the other two? There was a raven one, I think someone said. Is there four total? Ravenclaw? Wait, is this the new Harry Potter game? Yes, it is, James Dodd. We're just waiting for it to finish doing its thing. We're at 56% uh, ready. It's already downloaded. It's just doing a file transfer thing now that it's unlocked. I actually thought this was going to be like an instant thing, like one o'clock hits and there's like, you download the last half a gig and then you're just ready to go. No, that's not the case. They must have encrypted the fucking files or something and then now they're, it's a, it's like un, unzipping them. <laughs> Decompressing, whatever. Does anyone else think that Adam Sandler was the one who put these nuts on the presidential vote some years back? I don't remember that, but that sounds right. I love peanut butter sandwiches. Oh, poof. I made it. Hey, Floppy. Hey, fam. Hi, I dropped my gun. How you doing? Lord Death. Yes, I forget. Forgot the name with the game, but you're a female vampire. Uh, vampire... Are you talking... Are you looking for the name of... There's an old vampire game. What are those blood ones called? Man, the old, old one from like 20 years ago is one of the best RPG storylines. I think one of the... Bloodlines, isn't it called Bloodlines? Those ones are great. Those are great games. Uh, the early ones. I haven't played the newer one. Mom mod snacks, burps, flying lions, and the other puffer on. Thanks, mom mod. Hufflepuff, yeah, that's it. Sounds like a snack, doesn't it? Quiz: Why should you never eat a clock? Because it's a time-consuming process. Remember when that was a thing? Like, uh, I don't know. People used to like magicians or whoever used to eat metal. Wasn't that like a world uh, record, like a Guinness record or something? There was a dude that would slowly eat chunks of metal. He ate like full cars and shit and planes and all that. What the hell's wrong with people? Huff and puff. You gotta go half and half, floppy. I've heard they had like a ban on whoever live streams it. Is that true, James Dodd? No. There's no ban on like from YouTube or Twitch or anything like that, there is a movement against uh, JK Rowling and a whole transgender thing going on that um, today 
the mods and I are not dealing with. So we're just kind of high alert, not putting up with it. We're here to have fun today. Um, not deal with that bullshit. We're just playing a game. And uh, chat's going to stay off that topic if we can. Okay, good. I brought it up just in case, you know. Yeah, no worries. Yes, Bloodlines, I think. Never played them myself. The first old one, if you can get past the graphics, it's fantastic. It'll suck you into the stories. Uh, some of the best story stuff, like, as good as, like, Skyrim, uh, Fallout, whatever. Parts of it are even better. Like, you track down a serial killer in his basement, and there's a whole storyline. It's a side quest, and it's just so good. Yeah, Vampire the Masquerade. That's it. Yeah. I dropped my gun. That's it. Things people do for detention planes. Yeah, I think that same guy, like, they could, whoever it was, could slowly break down uh, things. And over like a year or two years or whatever, they would eat metal objects. Thank you everybody for being here and sticking with me. We're at 65%. We're getting close. We've killed 35 minutes so far. I'm impressed. Okay, let's open this up here uh pedals are done great you're gonna have to post some pictures in the discord if you're not part of the discord we have a good time over there uh floppysword.com you can get all of my links as well as the discord invite link there so you can just click on it and come join What about The Night is Dark? Is that a game? James Dodd? Let me open a browser. Let me look at some shit. Uh, what was it called? Night is Dark, or is that something else? Oh, I see. An indie horror game that takes place in your house. That's cool. We might do a few more uh, horror type games. Um, what was that recent one we did? The Zombs or whatever. Where the hell is it? Yeah, D Zomb Z or whatever. D Zombs. I actually really enjoyed that. The first level I really, really liked. That's the one we didn't beat because of the cut the rope. Fuck me. <laughs> I went back and I was going to record a video so we could finish the game and I was going to put it up as a normal video and just say the end of these alms. Uh And I went in and I cut the rope, no problem. I killed that beast, no problem. And then you run out of the city, you drive in a car and then you crash and it's a whole new level called the garden. And then it turns into like a fucking Call of Duty zombies mode where you're just unleashing with an AK. And they spawn, the spawn points are so terrible. Sorry to, sorry to the developer. The game needs work. Like, sorry, dude. But uh, the spawn points are so terrible. They were spawning like fucking three feet away from you. They would just appear in front of you and just start smashing your face in. So I deleted that video pretty quick. Lord Death. Haha, <laughs> graphics floppy. I started on the Commodore C64, bro. Yeah, that's why some of us can play the older stuff. I started on the NES. Classic Super Mario Brothers or the Mario Brothers. That was the first console we ever had. We probably had one. I think my parents might have had one in the basement, but we never fired it up. Maybe my brother, uh, who's older than me, uh, might have been into something a little bit older, but the NES is what I remember. Master Debater, no rush. We are in good company. I love you, chat. You guys are great. I'm, uh, I mean that too. I'm super lucky to have the this uh, chat in the community. It's so easy to to stream with you guys. What do you mean, you guys? Fuck out. Uh, fun fact: Vampire the Masquerade used to have restriction on it in the state of Nebraska. You had to be 21 plus to buy it. Wow, that's crazy, my man. 
I watched a funny uh, clip on Instagram. And it looked like it was maybe from the 70s. I don't know. I don't know what state it was, but they had cowboy hats and stuff. And uh, others of you might have saw it, but they were like complaining about how the government was taking their rights because they couldn't drink and drive. The guy was like, I, I can't do the, I don't know if I can do the accent without being offensive, but I don't really, do we care? I work 11 hour shifts and I get off work. Who's to say I can't have a beer or two and drive home? Ever? They're taking our rats away. Something like that. It was something like that. They were dead serious. <laughs> Which they have a point. You know, the government, uh, they take a, take away something, you don't get it back, but then it gets abused, right? Somebody, somebody, <laughs> somebody drinks a, a beer or two and they get absolutely fucked and, you know, smash into people's houses and shit, so it gets messy. Was that British floppy? That was my, yes. <laughs> that was my British accent. <laughs> Welcome to the Flappy Sword channel where the downloading's done at 75%. Gee Willikers, we're almost there. Playing Hogwarts Legacy today. I'll get uh I'll get a, a strike over that before any of the other drama <laughs> probably. All right, I missed some messages there. Ray, when it's all done, I'll post uh, post it in the pictures area on Discord. Sounds good. I watched this played on PS5 last night. Now I get to see if any small differences can be noticed as JW. I dropped my gun. Hell yeah, Floppy. I've been waiting for you and only you to play this. I've been attempted by others, but I... Yield myself and waited. Thank you. Drop my gun. Appreciate that. I'm in Iowa, so I can joke. <laughs> Anybody remember the Blade games on PlayStation 1? I, I don't. I don't think I played those ones. No. The D is silent in Dizomza. Dizomzed. <laughs> Iowa joke. Sounds corny. That's Master Debater. I heard General Electric covered it as well. It says Quisp. <laughs> oh, shit. I love it. I programmed my first Robotron clone onto a, hundred, a one, 120 cassette tape that had to play all 120 minutes to load. Oh, those are the days. Holy shit. Thankfully, I'm Scottish, not British, or I may take offense, LOL, says Cat. Quisp, tape load them long decks back in the day like Zorg. I didn't understand that whole sentence. I love Scotland, Kate, my fave place in the world. But you said, don't try to make good now. You can't make up with the Scottish now. Eh? It's too late. It's too late. <laughs> I actually don't even understand the history. But I did love Braveheart. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fat Belly, I like the part when Hagrid jumped the barbed wire on his motorbike to escape the Germans. Is Fat Belly? <laughs> Rest in peace, Hagrid. Much sad. That actor died last year, didn't he? James Dodd, uh, there's a Discord. We're gonna find it. Floppysword.com. Or click Medusa's link there. Thank you, Medusa. Uh, do the American accent. Hello, mate. It's me from Texas, mate. <laughs> Have a spot of whiskey. Spot of Texas. A Texas whiskey. Mate. <clears throat> Sorry. That's exactly how I sound, Floppy. I know. Aren't you from Michigan? Wait. Here I am dropping personal details. Sorry, Ray. Her secret's out. 
Ray, did you murder someone in, in Michigan? Was that meant to be a secret? Is that why you're not in Michigan anymore? My first system was a Nintendo NES. Mine too. James. Hello, Jeffrey. We're waiting again for the game. Uh, we're at 83%. Uh, 84%. The game is downloaded already. This is like a file uncompressing thing going on here. We're just waiting for that. I'm just checking out the Discord here. Welcome, Bree Burrs. As well as 972516, whoever the fuck that is. Welcome aboard. You guys get some interesting uh, Discord names. Uh, 85% now, yeah. It's speeding up, baby. Port of Michigan, live in Texas. Yes, they got on my nerve. <laughs> say Floppy, say zombie in a French accent. That's how you say the zombie, I think, Fluffy. Mandy, listen, I took French my whole school career okay i am canadian i had french class from primary up to grade i don't know nine all right i think i know how to say zomzed okay okay <laughs> I'm from Michigan Flop. That's cool, Aaron. How you doing, Aaron Reed? Good to see ya. Jeffrey. Hello. I had the gold Nintendo game, the, the Legend of Zelda Gold. Did I as well? That's a good question. Are you talking about A Link to the Past, James Dodd? Or the old one before that? Is this the Floppy Sword reading channel? Fat, fat Belly. I don't know, but we're we're holding viewers. People seem to be okay with it. Quiz, the Z the Z is silent. The Zomzis? Why is it silent? Who's silencing the Zeds? Fuck man. Can we get some hashtag Zeds in the chat? We need some support for the Zeds. They're being silenced. I'm not standing for that bullshit around here. You will never be silenced around these parts, Zed. Now, who here? Let's do a poll. Here, let's do this. I'm going to drop a poll in the chat here. Go ahead. Z or Z? Important question. Free the Z. Hashtag free the Z says master debater. Exactly. If you're just joining us again, the game is unlocking. We're at 92%, baby. We're almost there. Holy shit. Please hurry up. <laughs> I'm fucking exhausted. All this chit chat. Is it a zombie or a zombie? <laughs> That's fat belly. How are we doing there? Wow, I'm surprised. I thought I was in a minority on this. With the Zed. We grew up like singing the alphabet and all that, and it was Zed at the end. I thought that was uh, more of a Canadian thing. Is, is that... For those who say Zed, where are you from? Is this like a British thing to you? In America, we say Z, yeah. So it's pretty even where I grew up uh, on the east coast of Canada. It was interchangeable. It wasn't really a thing. You could use either one. It wasn't too serious. I don't know if that's the same everywhere. But Zed was like what we started with in school. That's what we uh, we learned with. The Jack from Newfoundland. You're a Zed guy then, huh? Ray says Zed. Maybe it's just like a northern thing. And then further south is Z. 
Interesting. I honestly thought like it was going to be like 10% says, said Zed. I didn't think we'd be winning. Oh, well, fuck. Look, I'm only 21 and I honestly can say I've had some pretty old gaming systems, so I was late, but I still was able to enjoy the good age of gaming systems, says James Dodd. One of my favorite systems of all time uh, was the Dreamcast. Because you could just download the fucking games and burn them to a CD. There was no... I'm not saying I did this, okay? I heard friends did this, okay? Floppy didn't do this, okay? But I heard that there was websites on, like, GeoCities and shit. Where dudes would just link a fucking game that you could download. Alright? And there was no protection on them, okay? And you just burn that shit to a simple CD. And you pop it in, in the Dreamcast, and it just fucking played. It worked. Like, Crazy Taxi. We played Crazy Taxi. I, like, we just... Not me people I knew not floppy <laughs> I still have a working Dreamcast as Aaron Reed that's awesome man I loved the Dreamcast so much I actually wish it was more popular than than it was uh, listen folks we have 15 seconds remaining I think I think it's unless there's another stage after this I think we're ready to go here let me just see what it's doing first. Okay, it says it's unpacking, and I think it's good to go. New DLC for Hogwarts Legacy has been added to your account and will be installed along with the game. Okay. I'm just looking things over here. Let's not freak out. Okay, let's start the game. I think we're... I think we're... Folks, I think it's fucking game time. Holy shit. I'm just going to start this thing. Is there a cutscene at the start that I need to catch? Here, let me just load it up. <clears throat> uh, there is a warning for epileptic seizures when exposed to certain light patterns or flashing lights. So there are some magics and fl flashing lights probably in the game. So if you are sensitive to that, please uh, be cautious. Uh, 25 minutes later, after character creation, uh, I will not be rushing today. So yeah, we might uh, we might be taking our time. I'm not going anywhere today. Maybe some bathroom breaks and some coffee breaks, but other than that, I don't really have any plans. Unless uh, I hit a wall. Preparing shaders. Okay, we're doing that. This I think somebody said takes a Virgil. Was that you? Takes a few minutes here. Welcome in everybody. We're loading the game here. I'll switch to that if you want to see something different other than that screen. Let's see if it shows it. Yeah, there it is. Yay! Woo! Woo! Holy fuck! What has it been? Been streaming for almost an hour. 50 minutes. <laughs> this is what we've got. Depending on your hardware. This may take a few minutes. Well, it's chomping it up, isn't it? I think we're doing well. Well, I gotta go, y'all. Have a good time. I wish I could stay, but I'm getting a job. Floppy, make it some good content. I'm gonna watch this late. Uh, congratulations, James. Good luck on the job. Thanks for trying, uh, stopping by and being here. I, I get laughed there because I thought it was funny. Like, I just got the game started and <laughs> you're leaving, so... Uh, good luck with all that. Uh, Dreamcast was ahead of its time and people weren't ready for it. That's true, Eric. They were, uh, they had in development a smell thing. So you could smell things in games. They didn't release it. It's crazy. Catman44, Dreamcast was pure gold. Virgil, after you make the character, there's a note. Then video. Okay. You would have wiped the weak by now. The strong survive a floppy chat session. Yeah, true. Holy shit, we're in! Space bar to toggle. Wait, what? Did, did it just talk to me? Am I supposed to be in here? What's happening? How did I get here? Menu reader. Off. Okay. Colorblind mode. Normal. Camera shake. Increase, decrease. Uh, uh, whatever. 
toggle aim mode. Enable this to change spell aiming from hold. Okay, so right now it's on hold, I guess. To talk. I don't know what any of that means yet. Also, I'm playing on mouse and keyboard. That's fine, right? This isn't just a controller game, right? This is a lot of controller stuff here. I do have a controller, though, if we need to plug it in. I don't want to. Minimap pathing, all that's fine. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Continue? Okay. Yes, Floppy Sword is my legal name. <laughs> sure, I'll agree to your legal <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> yeah, good luck suing Floppy Sword. <laughs> you fucking idiots. Um, claim rewards. Link your Harry Potter fan club and WB Games account to customize your. Well, we don't have any of that. Trust me. Link some uh things. Uh, blah 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 blah. Skip sign in. Claim online word. Uh. Okay, one second here. Let me just switch screens here. This is gonna pop up any of my shit, is it? I think we're good. Hardware benchmark. Continue. I'll switch the screen back in a second. I think we're okay. All right. Adjust the slider until the image is barely visible. I don't see any fucking image. Wow, is my monitor that dark? Right about there. Looks good to me. Hopefully that looks good for everybody. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I, I joined the... I wanted to get a degree in engineering. What the fuck is this? We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on 1 September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elazar Fig to help you uh, hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and sorting ceremony. Yours tru truly, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Do I have to pay her for... Never mind. All right. Hi, Brandon. How you doing? What up, Floppy and everybody? Good to see you. Uh, James Wansboro. Oof, hot shader action, baby. Yes. Cameron, oh boy. You on the list now, says Cameron. Okay, downloading the rope took forever. Makes me think of the movie Ready Player One. That was a great book. I love the book. You knew it was a fantasy world when the kid ended up with the hot girl. <laughs> Dreamcast Downfall was the creation of a game uh, you play with a seaman. Okay. This is going to be the first game I've beaten completely since Red Dead Redemption 2. So addicting, says Cameron. Nice. Good. All right, so we need to pick a player here. Can I customize this character further? All right. Let me see. Who looks like a piece of shit? Got a little bit. There's something going on in that kid's eyes. There's something going on in there. Something. A little bit of something going on in there. We need to. We need to play as a piece of shit. Maybe. We might change our mind, but. <clears throat> oh. Something going on in that face too. That's too friendly. Was this the default? How much can I customize? Okay. Face shape. Oh, I see. We can get right into this. Oh, oh. This one here is a little bit of a fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. See, see his brain through his nose. 
No hate. No hate. Is there anything? How about we're like an innocent looking kid who does terrible shit? Like the bully game, right? They all look like the same gene pool, says Quiz. They do. Brendan, hey, I got a question for you. What's up, Brendan? Virgil, Ready Player One book. Might have to check that out. Sounds interesting. It's great. The movie actually did pretty good uh, keeping to the book. Uh, I, don't, I don't care what my guy looks like. This is fine. Glasses. Oh, dear God. Uh, nah. This was like 100 years ago, right? Before. Look at those things. Those are sus. Uh, it's too Harry Potter-ish. Yeah, we're good. Uh, next here. Hair color. Should we go? Uh, should we do a tribute to Elden Ring? <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Arr, Billy, have you ever been to sea? Billy, no, Captain. Mind grinder. <laughs> what? Uh, it's no Sims, but looks okay. Yeah, I've got some shadow issue issues here. Brandon, me and my brother play Elden Rings. Brandon, you said you had a question. Do you have a question? Uh, are those real brains you see? Make him the teen version of the Elden Ring guy. <laughs> Is there like spiky fucked up hair? I don't think so. Actually. Hey. Huh? Huh? Fuck it. Was there anything else there? Alright. Complexion. I don't care. God, I, I hate most of this stuff. Like, I just, just like, throw me in, man. Freckles and moles. <laughs> what? Sure. Scars and markings. Uh, bye everyone. Bye, Brandon. All right. <laughs> Have a good one. Well, if you need serious help, hit the like button, says JA. If you're just joining us, please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Fantastic community. Uh, as I bullshit my way through this. I kind of like the first one we had. It's kind of cool. Might be a little much, though. Yeah, that's fine. I like it. Eye color? I, I don't care, dude. Did my uh, Elden Ring dude have a uh, eye color? You can keep them light like that. So they're like red eyes. The yellow's kind of cool. Amber. Go. Bright ass blue. You need a monocle. Yeah, I wish that was an option. That'd be kind of cool. Look at this sus motherfucker. Look at him. Look at you. You know, he looks harmless, kinda, on this side. But then you're like, what the fuck? God damn! Whose room did your character walk in on to get gray hair, Flavi? All right, let's see. <laughs> we need some. Uh... Oh my! Oh my god! Okay. Not happening. I'm not looking at that. I don't care. Eyebrows shouldn't even be a choice in games. What do we think so far? That hair is awful. The mouse is Medusa. Medusa? We're creating our El teenage Elden Ring. Should I change it? Chat, should I change it? Yes or no? No poll, just, just 
Just write it. While I'm working on the voice. Ugh, let me get comfortable here. Yeah. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Should I change it? So you're... Yeah, not keep it. Change it. Should I change it? Yes or no? That was quite something. It was wonderful. I am a few cobwebs and some dust. Oh, it was wonderful. I, I am a few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Uh, yes. No eyebrows. <laughs> uh, no. Yes. No. Drop again. Bald? Is there a bald option? I didn't see a bald option. Oh. This is me in real life. This is what... This is my haircut. I've been shaving my head for like fucking two decades. I don't put up with hair. I have no time for hair. Is that better, everyone? Is everyone happy? It seemed pretty mixed. No, no, yes. Actually, it looks like a lot of us want to keep it. Hey, I'm back. Welcome back, Brandon. Looks like a Bond villain now. Yeah, he looks sus as fuck here. All right. Select your difficulty. Story. How hard is this game on normal? It's just fine. I kind of want to just progress through the game. I don't want to really... We have like Elden Ring already pissing me off. A balanced gameplay. Is normal just like decent for everybody? Or is it like a fuck you normal? Your character name. Okay. Easy is fine. I just want to progress, kind of. I don't beat the game and enjoy it. I don't really want to struggle too much. <laughs> is, that, is that bad? It, this feels like a story kind of game, doesn't it? Dormitory. Witch or wizard? I don't know what that means. This choice will determine your player's character dormitory. Witch or wizard? Wizard, right? Am I done? All right. Let's just get into it. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me for the time. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some fetagoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Hey guys, we just started. We literally just started. I created my character and this was the first uh, cutscene. You didn't miss shit. We were waiting for the game to unlock and uh, move my files. That's why I, we're actually about 50 minutes late or an hour late. Floppy Sword presents, presents, presents. Wizarding World and Port Key Games.
Uh, thank you, Medusa. I can't see my mouse right now. Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Because he sucks them nuts, huh? Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Ranrock? Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. Is this Skyrim? And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you... Wait. We do I didn't like that guy anyway. Okay. Are you all right? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. G to heal. A Wigan Weld Potion. All right. He drank that very dramatically. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Uh... One second here, let me just... 
Where is my... Camera sensitivity, uh, let's come down here. See how that is as well. Can I still change the brightness? I find the brightness was off. It actually looks too bright. I don't care that much. All right, let's get back into it. Oh shit. Wow. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. Do you the think... port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she. And now George died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. It's it's clearly a fucking path in front of you, bro. The path to Hogwarts. Don't know alert. Puffy T throws $5.39 at Floppy Sword's thick, juicy thighs for being an hour early smiley face. <laughs> Thank you very much, Huffy T, for the five. Appreciate that. Let's get the motion blur off. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Can I not change my brightness? Like after the first screen? Isn't that weird? Or I'm blind and missing it. Thank you so much, Huffy T. Appreciate that. Follow Professor Fig. I'm coming, Fig. What does this do? Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. So that's just a details pan? Okay. Uh, welcome in everybody new sorry if I missed you Flavio you one yes sorry he's a talking powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time doing shots on school ground floppy you're getting expelled for that says a drama gun I must Hogwarts castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic I don't know where she came into possession of the port key but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Can I jump off this? But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus oh, that's on how it center. starts, you fucking pervert. Uh, tap or a basic cast. Okay, that is a lot more fun already than I was expecting. Excellent. When you watch the game, it looks like, eh, whatever. Use your camera to select an active target. Gotcha. Don't know alert.
holy shit, why is this so fun? I was looking at some gameplay, like very little, and I was like, fuck. Flipping around with a wand and shit, I don't know, man. This feels way better than it, uh... Alan looks. Reed throws two dollars at floppy swords thick juicy thighs. Make sure to look around for chests floppy. Thank you, Aaron Reed. Look around for chests. I don't know, dude. You don't want to stare at chests for too long, though, man. That's pretty... Back in the old days, you could do that, that you know, but... Bit rougher than I'd expected. They get pretty angry now. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Oh, treasure chests. My bad. Thank you, Aaron Reed, for the two dollars. Appreciate that. Ah, up there. <clears throat> uh, any chance of bumping the volume a little floppy, up or down? I do so. Uh, the mic or the game? There you go. Should be louder. Is that better? Let me know if that's too loud. It feels like one of those games where the, the fights are going to get loud as fuck. A mix of too quiet and too loud. We're close now. It's just ahead. Steady yourself. I drop my gun says under settings uh display options is that this one and image calibration I feel like it's too bright let me try that thank you very much uh I dropped my gun that already looks better in the menu yeah that feels better that feels better it's not like washed out thank you There. Yeah, that looks way better. Thank you. Yeah, so this is game of the year. I suspect they valued their privacy. He led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. The minimap shows your surroundings with you. Purple triangle in the middle. This is your current objective. Uh, press and hold V to toggle quest objective details. Beautiful. Easy enough. Let me look around here a little. Sorry, Chad, we've had a little bit of story here, so I kind of missed uh, some of the chat. My side looks pretty good at 1440, voice up, or background down a touch. Game volume is super quiet. That's weird. It sounded okay for me. Uh, is it good now? Is the sound good now? Good now. Thanks, Floppy, says Medusa. Okay. Uh, Floppy, if you play with it too much, you'll go blind. Uh, you know what? I actually had... Uh, a OBS update. I wonder if it fucked with some of my stuff a little bit. Because I haven't changed anything. All right, let's investigate. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. Don't know alert. Medusa Gorgon throws $6.05 at floppy swords thick juicy thighs. You'll have someone's eye out with that floppy. 
Bobby, if you play with it too much, you'll go blind, says right. Thank you, Medusa, for the five pounder. You'll have someone's eye out with that, Floppy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Medusa. Appreciate that. What did, uh, what did, uh, he just say? I kind of missed the thing there. What the reply was. You know those cleanup games where you could go around and you clean up shit because it's all rubble? This is the asshole that fucking created that all that. Haunted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? Hmm. One second. I didn't really look over here. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. A seer? Are those those weirdos that like lick their hands? They like lick your hand, or you? They make you lick their hands, or whatever. Or is that just like in the Vikings? Let's see what's up here. Nothing. 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 All right, let's go. Thank you, Medusa. Appreciate that. Uh, blah, blah, blah. He said it might have been his home. Okay, thank you, Brandon. Just a Viking thing. I wish I could install this game, but I'm sure my PC would explode, says JD. It's running okay. I mean, my, my GPU load is 52% right now. It's a 3060, but I mean, that's pretty low compared to other shit I play. Another Toto. What's happening? Majisa Gorgon throws six dollars and five cents <laughs> at floppy swords thick juicy thighs. Is it wrong that I have one envy? Lol. <laughs> Thank you, Medusa, for another five pounder. Appreciate that. Uh, no, it's not wrong. Oh shit. Real Kraz throws fourteen dollars and thirty-one cents at floppy swords thick juicy thighs. Thank you, Real Kraz. For the DKK 100, appreciate that very much. Thank you. Uh, with no message attached, the guy just comes in and throws some fucking coins at my tatas and just walks out. Thank you very much, real Kraz. Thank you, Medusa, again. What's this? Professor Fig. Hey. Yeah, what? What? Oh, he, here he is. Okay. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again. Like the glow on the port key container. Professor Fig and I have traveled with, uh, yeah, via port key to a remote cliffside in the Scottish Highlands. We need to explore the mysterious ruins that we suspect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Can I get close maybe now? Investigate. We're gonna get sucked in. What in Merlin's name? Wake the Christ goblin. Heart. Is that what we're calling it? <laughs> Wake Where the goblin. Are we? <laughs> I don't believe it. Uh oh. Uh, I gotta go, but been fun, folks. Catch yous next time. Bye, Cat Beanie. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. See you soon. Hello?
It can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. To Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key? Hmm? The wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. To you. Oh, weird goblin guy. I'd do him if I, I desperate if and hadn't had it in months. Wait a minute. If you don't <laughs> Holy shit, Medusa. <laughs> this has to be a ride at Disney, right? Or whoever the fuck owns Harry Potter now. Medusa, that's. that's messed up. I mean, I would too. Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault deep, baby. number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On you, way. Look at the ears on that guy, Medusa, huh? <laughs> know what they say about big ears. Watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. Follow Professor Fig. Uh, something to grab onto, was LOL, says Medusa, Jesus. Was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Thank you for your help. Like, how is that thing not super rusted up? Oh, I see. What do you suppose we should be looking for? Are these magical candles? Sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Professor, that was certainly unexpected. 
Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Steady your wand with um, mouse, I guess. Okay. And guide it along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion along the symbol's path. Okay. Oh, my bad. Oh, no. What the fuck? That was weird. Cast Revelio. 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 No, I'm saying Revelio. Fuck this. I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Oh shit. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. This what now? Okay. I see something up ahead. Should, what is it? Should we reveal you? That glow again, but on the floor. This is this is walk into it. Fuck it. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. I've already figured Please. this game out. We've already won, the basically. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Lumos. Okay. Cool. You've acquired the wand lighting charm, Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand. <laughs> this self you see, Dark Arius. Okay. Uh, use your spell flops as Aaron Reed. Uh, let's see. Hi, uh, Freeman 1971. How you doing? Hey, no kink shaming here. Uh, some people may enjoy short, grumpy, big eared folks as my mod. Yeah, no, no. Or death, is that how to spell works or how to cast a spell? You learn the spell and then you use it. Just the tip, Floppy. Oh, okay. I'm ready. Tap one to cast or extinguish Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Oh, cool. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Line it up, bud. He looks friendly. Oh shit. Oh shit. Unrevealio! Unrevealio! No more revealio! No! Oh shit! Uh, what? Okay. Accio! 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 Accio!
me. Oh. Holy shit. Protecto incoming enemy stuffs. Can I attack? Fuck defense, bro. Bam, bitch! Blam, blam! Kachooch, kachooch, kachooch! Uh, did you want to help out there, bro? Or uh, yeah. Holy shit. Stay close. Okay. How about you stay close to me? I'm sure I did most of that. It's my first day. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Lumos. Okay. Where am I supposed to go? Anywhere. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Dang, this is way more intense than I was expecting, says my mod. My mod. Yeah, it is. There's some uh, serious uh, boss fights in this shit. Again. Okay. Get Lumos. The light. We gotta do the revealio. I'm on my own this now, time. now we gotta. Oh, is there puzzles in this shit? All right, we need the Lumos. light to turn them. There's one, two, uh, and three. Too far. Oh, I didn't get the guy back there either. Shit. These are some floppy statues. We we're unfloppying. We're uh, erecting some like statues, statues here. With their reflections. Yeah, I, I know. Oh, too far. This way. Erectus. Don't know alert. Aaron Reed throws two dollars at floppy swords. Thank you, Aaron Reed. Thighs. Reveal everything, flop. Thank you very much for the two dollars, Aaron Reed. Okay. Perhaps I need to get them all to stand at once. Wait, what? Oh. oh. I thought I had to do one at a time. I see. Seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Bring it, pussy. A little spin attack does a lot of damage, eh? Hold Q during Protego to stun enemies with a stupefy counterattack. Stunned enemies take extra damage indicated by gold numbers. Uh, I see it. Okay. Uh, thanks again, Aaron Reed, for the $2. Don't know. I appreciate that. Start yelling, Fugo. You go in frig uh, wait, that's a different universe involving a wizard, Harry. Get him flops, says Brandon. Consumo potato, says Captain 44. Portico sounds like he is saying potato. It sounds like I'm a pro at getting people pregnant, maybe. Pro take pro pregnant no oh, pro take no, that doesn't work. Fuck me. Hi everyone, Floppy. Hi Tyler, how you doing? Alright. If you're just joining us, you haven't missed a whole lot, because we were about an hour later starting the stream than I wanted. Uh, just give me a quick break. I need a little... I got a tinkle. I got... I got a tinkle. Okay. I'll be right back. Don't leave.
All right, I'm back. I just had a urge of peony. Piono. I'm not good at this. Don't fall in, Floppy. PP break. I'm doing good. I'm having sushi and macaroni and cheese from the grocery sources, Tyler. What a weird mix, but delicious. No excess shaking, Floppy. I gotta get it somewhere, Freeman. Uh, the first spell you learn in the Floppy Fam, Floppus Erectus. <laughs> I like it. Alright, let's get back in the game here. Hold Q, right, okay, let's try that. We, we're doing it now. Potato! Potato! Nice. Okay. It's not too hard to use. I'm potatoing him and stewifying. It sounds delicious, whatever the fuck's going on. Eat some stew. Have some beef, motherfucker! Delicious beef stew with potatoes. The potato spell is making me hungry. <laughs> Potato stew! <laughs> Find Professor Fig. Lumos. All right, let's f find the uh, the flying sperm lights. Sprint. Okay, I can sprint. I'm sprinting! What? Okay, let's look around here. So, oh, we got one of these here. Uh, hi, Salem. Tinkle would be the spell Aquamenti Sordida. Dirty water stream. Is there like a Harry Potter tool, language tool online you can convert or something? Or did you just come up with that? I read on comment section once that wizards and witches in the Potter universe that they transfigured their bodily waste. I mean, it would make sense. They be astronauts, maybe. They be astronauts. That is a door. I think we're going into the Elden Ring castle right now. All right, so we got the Revelio, we got the Blockio, we got the Lightio, okay. And then our normal splooger thing. Wait, am I underwater? I. You're you're kind of moaning a little bit, aren't you? That's some interesting breathing you got going on there, Miss. Uh, my name is Floppy Wand, and uh, I'm gonna go for uh, maybe a little Netflix in my place. Did you? What is this place? I don't know. It's Elden Ring. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Follow my lead. too well I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow it will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough Percival 
We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. I thought he was gonna like itch his ear with that thing. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam and perhaps George died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. He's cute. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now... Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. So many chests lost flop. Reveal the room floppy. I, I haven't even been in a room. Holy fuck. Well, I guess when I walked into that last room, yeah. Never mind. This one here. Holy shit, where's Astro Boy when you need him? Are you alright? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? It can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. I hope there's beef potato stew. Welcome, everybody. Hope you're uh, having a great day. Happy Friday. We're playing Hogwarts Legacy. My name is Floppy Sword.
Oh, two hours in the stream. We uh, finished the intro. That's. Do do potato stew. Ba da ba da ba ba da do. So, how about them Leafs, huh? Any Toronto Maple Leaf fans in here? Or... Oh. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more... Medusa, give me the names of all of them again, please. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Jealous. Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly... Oh, shit, I fucked up. I put Ravenclaw I twice. Missed. If you're lucky, no, I'm ending that ball. I able fucked to get it up. This evening. Ignore that. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Here, let me see if the game stops. If the game has a section here for me to pause the game, I'll set up a better poll. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. So I get to pick myself. It doesn't do it automatically based on stuff. They should like ask you questions and then it automatically does it. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. I want to bang some Certain chicks. And <laughs> expectation. My bad. Okay, let's try that poll again. What's the fucking fourth one? The main one. Gryffindor, yeah. Start poll. Which one will floppy pick? Let's go. That one. Uh. One second, let me set this up. That one. Uh. This one here. I, if they're not spelled right, I don't care. I'm just copying them out of chat here. I think that's all four. Ask your community. All right. All right, while you're doing that, let me read a little bit of the chat here. We're just relaxing this fine Friday, playing a fantastic game so far. I love the feel of it. Feels great. The voice acting from the main protagonist is excellent, says Freeman, 1971. So far, so good. There's a little weird of Excuse me, I'm burping. Oh god. Uh, there's a weird echo on the main character's uh, voice I'm not really big about, but that's alright. So many chests lost. Uh, notice how the old guy pocketed the bottle, says Salem. Uh, Freeman, cream of some young guy. What the hell? <laughs> so what you're saying, if one takes a knife and cut up their face, they can see magic. Asking for a friend, says Salem. Uh, I don't think that works. No. Mom mod. Look at that powerful hottie right there. Okay. You can... I don't think the webcam's on, but whatever. Okay. Thank you, I guess. But just look at those sexy caterpillar eyebrows. Okay, okay. Jesus Christ. I haven't plucked them in a while. <laughs> Elden Boss popping in to say hi, says Mom mod. And Thor, that guy used a giant beam attack from his face. <laughs> 
That's who I was thinking of too, Salem. You've kind of seen that version of that bad guy in like 10 different cartoons. The rooms with the pillars had several chests in it as well, says Aaron. Aaron, you have a... You should start a wiki about the chest in this game. You, you sound like a huge chest fan. This is basically the intro. I wouldn't worry about anything missed at this stage. Says JD. Uh, okay, now guys, let's remember that we are not going to spoil this for Floppy. Thank you, Ray. No spoilers, please. Uh, if I got stuck on something, I'll ask. If you guys know. Oh, the old adult dating chat porn bots are in the chat. Welcome. Welcome. I didn't know they were uh, Hogwarts fans. Uh, that's it. My mind was on goblins. Uh, House Gryffindor, Bravery House, Ravenclaw, yada yada. I've heard about the echo from other players, Floppy. Someone said it was a glitch. Okay. All right. Let's end the poll. Why don't we got 25 votes? 40% says Slytherin, 23% Ra uh, Ravenclaw, Gryffindor said 20%, uh, uh, Hufflepuff is 15%. Okay, let's get back in the game here. Uh, I can't, uh, you come here with preferences and pre certain expectations. I want to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm, indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit, but your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm. Said that real creepy. I wonder. Hi, Alexander. Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm. What is it? Horniness. Where's... Daring curiosity, Lord. Where's the? Huh? Are we doing real life or our character here? What would I pick in real life? Daring, curiosity, loyalty, ambition. Well, these are all good. These are all pretty good. Ambition. I mean, loyalty, absolutely. But like, I'm a I'm a single dude coming onto campus here. Fucking fuck loyalty, right? Like, if you're like, this dude's, what, 16-something, 17-something? You know, fuck that. Ambition? Definitely curious. You want to see what everything, what's all to offer around this place? Uh, daring? Let's go with ambition. I, I like ambition. that. I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. Uh, no joke, 100%. This was the only option for me. I would never ever pick another fucking shitty house. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding? You guys nailed it. Absolutely. There's no... Uh, just based on the names, of, like Ravenclaw's okay. Gryffindor? God, no. Gross. Hufflepuff? What the hell even is that? What? What, you, what the hell? Slytherin is by far the only option. They shouldn't even ask you. Hello, Floppy Sword. I love your urges uh, videos. You should try to continue it sometime. I uh, never heard of it, Alexander. I think that ignoring that poll solely because Peter Griffin door is an understandable decision. But it's up to you, Floppy. I detect something in you, giggity says Catman. <laughs> uh, Echo, it's a known bug that is going to be fixed with the patch that should be coming out in the 10th. Okay, thank you. Drop my gun. Snack boy for life. Floppy Slytherin for the win. Absolutely. Except how Slytherin house known for cunning, ambition, and hunger for power. Fuck yeah, sign me up. You belong in Slytherin! Uh, legit Ravenclaw? I haven't even heard of it until today when Ray started mentioning it earlier. Ray, I, ha I have never even heard of that. I've watched all the movies. Not even a word that I've even picked up on. Oh, and one <laughs> more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. 
Lucky for the Enough. devs, eh? They didn't have to make it's it. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. Weasley! As I was saying... You want to make Professor out? Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. I'm ambitious. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As deputy headmistress, it is my distinct Ow. honor to show you to your common room. Oh, oh okay. Here we go. The game has begun, Fluffy Fam. The game has begun. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. 69 viewers, I welcome everybody. As much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. <laughs> well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. <laughs> I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. So Flavi is a Weasley boy's Thank dad. You, Professor Weasley. <laughs> You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Okay, so far I haven't seen anyone pick Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw because they weren't even like talked about much in the fucking movies. Probably. I don't know, Looks man. Like everyone's gone. I always like Slytherin. Let's head to the common room. All right. Rebellion. So when I do that in a room, does it reveal it all over the place for a while, or does it just give like a flash of something, or like what? Is there a limited amount of times I can do this? Oh shit! I sparked my hand. All right, just looking around. Maybe we can rummage through people's stuff. This is a pretty cool layout, though. It'd be hard to... Never mind, we, we won't go there. We won't go there. This looks cool. All right, let's get out of here. Nothing in here, I don't think. Bud Faust, hack... Uh, tag back TV is a Ravenclaw on YouTube says Bud Faust. Welcome, Bud. Never heard you coming in hot with the another content creator's channel, <laughs> making a good first impression, Bud. Welcome, welcome. You're there all to atone in Huff and Puff, Lord Death. Can I explore? Uh, find your common room. I need to head to my common room. Sounds as though there are some voices coming from nearby. Perhaps I should follow them. I suppose some introductions are in order. Never seen that before, Fluffy. One spark from too much use. Oh, first, good job. Thank you. You're going to see a lot of fuck ups today. The devs should watch me play because I find some things that nobody else will find because I am an idiot. Did you see the way they just waltzed in at the end of the courting ceremony last night? Sorry, do you- imagine starting new school this late. Do you fucking say some shit? I'm right here, motherfucker! What'd you say to my face, pussy? How do I shove this bitch? Okay, sorry. Introduce yourself. Okay, let's do that. Wow, look at this place though, huh? Already knew that. Can I help you? Ah, oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. 
Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Figure all right. Uh, it was exciting. It was dreadful, certainly, but mm. quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What were you reading? What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough, but not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Okay, okay, I like this guy. What do you mean? Keep going. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. This is what we need. This is what we need. We need to get into the illegal stuff. Not this wimpy Ravenclaw, Huffle Puffle, Dolphin, whatever shit. Swimming with dolphins, whatever the fuck that is. This is this is what we needed here in the floppy community. Some dirty ass, down and dangerous, sneaky. I wouldn't do that if what? I were you. Slytherin house. All right. Melda. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? What's that first guy's name? Here. Sebastian. Watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Hi, Oxy. Checkmate. We picked the snakes. Told Oxy, you. we picked the snakes. There was only one choice, really. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills on a broom are legendary. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, bro, just throw a ring on it now. This is some wifey stuff. Um, wish you had been there. Sure, why not? Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Hey, Security 35, how you doing? Uh, sorry if I missed anybody. Uh, I'm trying to focus for once on the story. Hi, Christopher Doyle, how you doing? Good to see ya. Hope you're having a great start to your weekend. Are you done work? Hope you're done work. Uh, you can shoot that glass with your wand and scare the fishes, haha. We'll- we'll fuck around in a bit. I'm just kinda... getting settled. Charlie Foxshot, looks like there is not any major differences between joining any house, but Ravenclaw as a group get, get left out somewhat later in the game. Okay. Sebastian Swallows. <laughs> okay. I like Ravenclaw, but I'm cool with Slytherin as well. Uh, let's see here. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before class. Uh, you seem to know a lot about wizard chess. Do you fly a lot? Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. Bye, Tyler. There's Thanks for stopping by. There's like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. You seem to know a lot about wizard chess. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? Guess I don't have to read you it, knew huh? that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Alright. She's Goodbye, a Imelda. She's a nice meeting cocky you. little thing. Revelio. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. Let's go talk to this person. The hell was that? Oh, the clock? I think I heard one. 
Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Uh, I do like to make an entrance. <laughs> well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here. Though I doubt you'll need it. Hi, Night Re Reaver. How you doing? Uh, did we miss anyone else? I don't think so. I'm a stoner, so I voted for the Huff and Puff dudes. So they dropped my gun. Hi, everybody. Welcome in. All right. Uh, do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first day here. Though I doubt you'll need it. Did you suspect you'd be in Slytherin? Okay. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. So you're a racist? Uh, I don't get it. Do mermaids often appear outside the common room? Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. That kid's blind! Says I dropped my gun. Yeah, I think... I think we know. Didn't we all know? I mean, did we have to say that? <laughs> nice meeting you. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Okay. Let's go check it out. Ooh, that fireplace. God damn. This is another one of those games that's optimized really well. Like, it's running really nicely. I have a little mini monitor here for my computer temp and GPU and the load and all that. Everything's running well. The frames are good. Looks great. If I can good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. Fall well, behind you. Owls. Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Sexual there favors? Okay, a book. Wow. Super excited. Holy shit! What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. So is that the game? I, I basically Thank you, Professor. run around doing that what guide. Do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Oh, this kid's stupid. Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Gotcha. This way. Yeah, I'm right on, I'm right on your ass, baby Everyone girl. Knows you can't food. What is this thing? I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Why is it red? Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Okay. Yeah, I'll be right behind you. 
The guide will give you that opportunities wiggle. to practice your magic oh, and educate yourself about wizarding law. Okay. Do keep up. Why don't Whoa. you cast Revelio on that statue Revelio. and see what details the field guide can provide? Got it. Kelpie statue. The statue depicts the kelp pie. Kelp. Kelp pie. I love pie. A shape shifting water demon. That doesn't sound delicious. A shape shifting a water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long maned horse. The largest kelp eye ever reported is Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. Challenge unlocked. Collect field guide pages in Hawk Hogwarts. Uh, Hogwarts. You should get a cream or something for that. You've just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appears here. So we need to get a second one. Field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience at points or XP. You can open it with escape here. Okay. This is your wizarding level. Uh, so we're level one. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Uh, your field guide tracks your current challenges progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Okay, what else we got in here? Map, quests, owl post, progress through the main story to unlock. Okay, some settings down here maybe. Collections, talents, inventory, and gear. Good for the challenges. Collecting your first... So we have a 1% overall progress. That's like loading the fucking game earlier. Collecting your first guide page unlocked a new challenge. Category. Uh, new challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Select field guide pages to continue. All right. We've got combat, quests, exploration, field guide pages, and room of requirement. All right. Field guide pages, 1% lock challenge. Collected field guide pages in Hogwarts. Okay. Each challenge has tiers. Special rewards. Unlock at each tier you complete. From appearances to critical upgrades. So we're going to collect two field guide pages in Hogwarts. This is a gear appearance reward. Uh, Hogwarts regalia spectacles. Better be able to sell those pieces of shit. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Roger that. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Revelio. How do I break the wall down? Oh shit. Yo, I... I gotta go. I'm doing stuff. Oh, is that the same sh Oh, that's the one I can't do. No! No, no, no! Sorry. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. You've discovered a flu flame. Fast travel point, okay. You can open the map at any time to fast travel to any discovered flu flames. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live. It includes the house commons room, common rooms. And the Great Hall. Uh, select the Grand Staircase region. So we have the Astronomy Wing, the Bell Tower Wing, Grand Staircase, the Great Hall, the Library Annex, and the South Wing. Oh, let's see, baby girls. Uh, hi, chat. I'm happy as long as it's not Gryffindor, says Charlie Foxtrap. Uh, finally, she took... Oh, here, let me switch this to live chat. That would help. Uh, Floppy just can't resist waving it about like a lunatic, lol. <laughs> finally, she took her teeth out. Now we're getting somewhere. Man, those shoulder peaks are doing it for me. Okay, she must be a fan of 52 Pickup. 
I won't be engaged in chat, but I'm here. Oh, no worries, Oxy. A JDHF whatever got wrecked by Medusa. Have a good life, fuckface. Whatever you did. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Hi, bud. Good to see you. I don't know, but don't even bother trying to reveal her naked body, says Lord Death. No, I think we're good. Did she say sexual portal? All right. Dude, 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 dude. Grand staircase. Uh, the magnificent staircase of Hogwarts. Holy shit. Wait, what? Oh, okay, I see. Uh, in this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. How big is this fucking place? So these are just all the place. These are all the fast travel points just in this one part. What? This place is that big? Green flu flames represent flames. I'm just calling them flames. You're killing me here. Flu. I don't like that. The flu. I don't know what it is. You have discovered, including your own house common. Gray, reveal the location of undiscovered flames. Gotcha. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Roger that. Select the library annex region to continue. Okay. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall. Flame for you. Use A, D to rotate the map. Okay. Uh, and fast travel to the central hall. Flames. Damn, this game's got some areas. It's huge, floppy, says Andrew Walton. Large. That's what she said, LOL. Tongue twister. Uh, Q will protect you from incoming block. I gotta remember my keys already. I already... And here we are. Paid attention. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Okay. Central Hall. Central Hall. So that was... Okay. Whoa, 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 no, 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 get out of here. Get out, get, no, 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 we're good. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Uh, let's see. Can you tell me about Charms class? What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I'll be hitting you I with some of those charms la Professor later. Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. What exactly is defense against the dark arts? Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Hecate. What's Hogsmeade? Sounds like I can drink you it. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Ooh. 
One second here, chat. Uh, sorry, chat. I just got a text. My daughter uh, rolled her ankle really badly uh, coming out of the school. I'm just getting a text from my wife here. Not sure how bad. I guess teachers had to help her out and it needs to be checked out. So I'm just reading that for a second. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. There is, in fact. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, <laughs> I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. All right. Uh, stick with me, folks. I'm just going to talk to my wife for a minute. Uh, I'll be right back. Everything's fine. Everything's good.
Howdy. Uh, let's see. Hope she's okay, Flabby Bro. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate that. Hope she's okay. So, my wife's not with her yet. She's still at school. The teachers are with her. Uh, so we don't know how bad it is. Um, my wife's texting her. She does say there's some pins and needles, which isn't a good sign, so... My wife's gonna pick her up, bring her home. I'm gonna check her foot out quick and her ankle when she gets here. And then from there, we'll decide if we need to go to the hospital or not. Or just ice it and relax. So, we'll see. Uh, thanks, everybody. Uh, we'll continue with the game here. Thank you, mods, again, for dealing with the bullshits. Let's go ahead. This rave music question mark is Freeman. Uh, it's just some licensed music I got that I like. Let me close some stuff here. We'll keep continuing for now. Alright. So. Quest here. Start your first day. I think we need to go to two classes, right? And then it was... Uh, Go to the store or the village with all this stuff. Welcome to Hogwarts. Start your first day. Attend your first day at Hogwarts. Blah, blah, blah. Welcome to Hogwarts. Talk to Professor Fig. All right. This guy's going to help me out, right? We got some gear. We got some neckwear. Let me see this uh, gear tab. I haven't seen this yet. Floppy wand. That's our name. We got 52 coins. Wand handles. And where we got face wear, uh, head wear. Neckwear, cloaks, flying mounts, nice, and the broom, wand handle, so you can customize the wand as well, that's kind of cool, we got 200 health, defense, and offense, alright, and where, what do we got, black leather gloves, this item has no magical properties, uh, we're in Slytherin, I think black makes sense, black gloves, face wear, uh, yeah, the, fuck no, Let's go ahead, headwear. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm not, you know, robbing people in the streets of London in 1873. So, probably not. Let me see, zoomed out, what does that look like? You know what, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Can you change the color? Or you can only do certain things. Yeah, I guess. Let's do the neckwear. Holy shit. Fuck off. Okay, outfit. Traditional school robe. Oh, we can take it off. Look at this guy. The Peaky Blonders. You're talking shit about the Peaky Blonders. <laughs> Fuck, I love the Peaky Blinders so much. Okay. I can't, I, you know what? I don't hate it either. Let's see here. I'll leave it on. Here's our inventory. We got beasts, quest items, notes, resources. We got collections here. Collections I never care about. I assume that's going to be something I do care about in this game. <laughs> Revealio pages. Field guide pages discovered with Revealio. They reveal interesting facts about the world around you. Revealio pages can be found in Hogwarts. Hogsmeade, and special Highlands locations. Okay, cool. Challenges. Field guide pages. I'm just making sure we kind of go through everything quick here. We've already kind of looked at that. The map we kind of looked at. Yada yada. We have a world map and the Hogsmeade map. And then we have the quest page we looked at and then our settings. All right. Let's go see Professor Fig here. Floppy, you can go right down to your Long Johns. Can you really? Right. Hello, Fig. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Uh... Hmm. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say... I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster 
that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. If this guy ends up being like the sidekick to the final boss dude or something, uh, it loses a whole star rating for me. Because that'll be too fucking obvious. It, it'll annoy the hell out of me. If this guy ends up being like the... It's too obvious. They can't keep doing this. We at least got to leave campus for lunch. They quit doing that the year after I graduated. Uh, mine were eight a day until senior year. I don't know what we're even talking about. First, uh, blah, blah, blah. Playing golf. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure where we're at. Sorry, chat. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm back in the game. Okay, M, you can track available quests from the map. All right, let's open it. This represents main quest. Completing main quest will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In these cases, you will need to be the required level or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. Track a quest. Okay. So defense against the dark arts or charms. Let's get the charms over with, I guess. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. All right, folks, my daughter just got home. I just got to check her foot and see what the status is. I'll be back. Give me a few minutes, please.
Hey, everybody. Thanks for sticking around. I appreciate that. Not everybody left. That's good. I'm not going to read all. You guys have been pretty active here. Thanks for waiting. I appreciate that so much. Uh, yeah, my daughter's uh, ankle looks pretty bad, so my wife's going to take her to the hospital. Um, I offered to join. She said it was no problem just to take her to get it checked out. I don't think it's broken. There's some swelling and some bruising and stuff, but I don't think it's quite broken. I think it's just a pretty nasty sprain. It's a pretty large bump there on the left side of her, or on the outside of her ankle. Anyway, let's jump back into this. I'll get some updates from her and see how it goes. Quest complete. Welcome to Hogwarts. Uh, what's the status? What's the prognosis? Hopefully it's just a sprain, yeah. It looks, uh, it's pretty nasty, but... Uh, I didn't see any, uh... Bruising with, uh... Bleeding under the skin or anything like that. He seems in pretty good spirits. There's no, like... Real, there's a little numbness, but no crazy pins and needles or anything. Uh, I just wrapped it. I had a kit in the closet, so I wrapped it up for it. And my wife's taking her now to the to the hospital just to get checked out quick. They're pretty good hospitals. It's like a country, small, outside of the city hospital, so they're pretty quick. Dropped some frames there. We went down to about 25 frames out here as soon as we got out, but it looks like it leveled out. Looks pretty good here. What is this guy doing with me? Like, I, this guy's definitely an asshole, isn't he? Like, he's gonna end up being an asshole. Defense against the Dark Arts Tower. Rebellion. Nice to see you, my young friend. What the hell? We're dropping frames again. Alright, we're good. Hello, kitty. Oh. Uh, she's a gymnast, right? She should heal up right quick. I hope so. The shitty thing is she has a competition coming up soon, and uh, it's a competitive spot. Uh, and they actually have in her contract that if uh, she misses some of the practices beforehand, she's not allowed to compete. So she was also going to go to a uh, dance tonight, and she has a kind of a out-of-town boyfriend. <laughs> and the only time she gets to see him is when he comes and he goes to the dance. So it's like every couple weeks or so. He lives like in a city an hour away. So she's kind of more pissed about all that stuff more than her foot itself. God damn, this game is insane. The design and stuff and everything. Wow, the detail. Professor Fig's classroom. Okay. So does he teach this class? I kind of missed a bit. Sorry, folks. Field guide map shows Professor Ronan's class is in the astronomy wing. The castle is enormous. I may need to use the charmed compass uh, in the field guide. I should be looking down there, shouldn't I? I've always said that travel broadens the mind. All right, let's follow this thing. I haven't been following it. I've been clueless here. Let's focus up. Hello? My name's Floppy. What? Okay. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Okay. Time to trade in my oak shaft seventeen. Revelio. Everyone falls off their broom at least. You just have to get back on. Wonder what Kagawa thinks of Quidditch being cancelled.
MD, she can go to practice and not participate. I wonder if there is a loophole there. Good idea. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Rest, ice, compression, and elevation. Thank you, Mamad. We got it. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic Wait, what? summoning charm? Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Ah, uh, steady your wand. Guided through the things. Gotcha. Uh, is it just me or the stream is cutting out? Frames are kind of twitchy. Yeah, ended good. Weird. Uh, it's the game, I think. I'm dropping uh, when there's like a cutscene thing here or walking into new rooms. I'm dropping to about 20 frames per second. So are you guys seeing like all black screen or what? Or it's just glitchy. All right, let's get started here. I don't even see my mouse. Where the hell's my mouse? Akio. Okay, 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 okay. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Ah, uh, no, just like it's jumpy. Okay, uh, it's all good on my side. Oh, wait, maybe I did drop some frames. Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> 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 so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Playing with balls, are we? Okay. Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best, Professor. Show us how it's done. 
Did anyone understand a fucking word that guy just said? The summoning charm, As Accio. Accio. Pulls the target closer to the caster. Uh, tap the assigned key to cast and pull the target closer. Tap the key again to cease casting the spell. Accio. Excellent. Don't lose your composure. Very good. Fuck! It happens to the best of us. Splendid! Okay, that was weak. Alright. Very good! Points to Slytherin! That's but there's terrible. certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up! My brain went into idle mode when he talks. That's You'll be the literally anybody before, for me. Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Wait, what? He's actually able to summon the ball as close as he can. Okay. Jesus Christ. There we go. Can I knock hers off? Listen, I'm Canadian. We do some curling up in this motherfucker. Not exactly your typical lesson, is it? Not that I mind. Akio. Yeah, watch this, bitch. Oh, I thought it was gonna come and knock. Oh. That's it. Watch this. Oh, you got blue balls, says Andrew. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here we go. Jesus. Okay. That is how it's done. I don't think I can get that angle. Nope. I mean, I don't have any choice. Like, Ty is basically all we can do. Alright. Do not think I will start going easy on you now. Brilliant. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Oh shit. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. <laughs> Loser. There we go. Oh god, can you fucking move? I'm trying to Oh shit. I didn't even think of that. Oh shit! I pushed the wrong button! That was my chance to rule. I took my finger off and then panicked and couldn't find the button again. Oh shit. Oh shit. Fuck! I panicked. I was trying to get past the thing. Damn it. She's gonna win. Yes! Yes! I'm not making this easy for me, are you? <laughs> Fucking big D moves there. About time. Alright, tied again. Very good, both of you. Well done. Yeah, these cutscenes are pretty, uh... Pretty shitty on the frames. Track undiscovered blue flames to unlock permanent fast travel locations and shorten the time. 
Uh, yeah, everything's been optimized really well Class up until dismissed. this point, Gather actually. Things on the way out. A tight game. It turns out we were evenly matched. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Uh, it took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. What are you talking about? Like, I, didn't I, like, I tied her and I did the spell well and stuff? Wait. Bitch, I'm holding my own. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Don't be an asshole, Floppy Level says. Right, she was the asshole. She's implying like I'm behind. I need to learn some things, but like she's saying. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, let me throw this down. Uh, what does uh, what does it look like? It's like a castle, like Hogwarts. Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Surely the magic is weaker. <laughs> All right, fine. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. Fluffy wants to be an evil I wizard. Kind of. magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Uh, okay. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. Really, I, I was bored out of my fucking mind there. But I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Accio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise about After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Accio. Okay. A word, if you would. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well... An outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? And what a close match between you and Miss Onai. Invigorating. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. You have uncollected rewards available in the challenges menu. Okay. We got some new gear, legendary gloves, legendary cape, complete four main story. That's a pretty sick looking cape. Let's check out the inventory for the new gloves. <clears throat> Sorry, the gear. Yeah, gear, gear, gear. 
Better than these, that's for sure. Wait, didn't it just say I un unlocked them? Alright, getting used to this. Oh, it's a legendary thing. Huh? Gear appearance reward legendary gloves. Legendary gloves gear. Hand wear. Change appearance. appearance. Oh, okay. I thought you clicked in here and it would have it. Uh, I see. I got you. No, go back. No, not there either. Oh my god. <laughs> no, not there either. <laughs> It's right here. I see. So you select the base gloves. And then you can change the appearance here. I see. And then we can select this. I got you. Uh, glove stitch with mysterious design. Those are cool. I like it. Good murder uh, strangling gloves. Sorry, I'm late. Sorry, just woke up and got a coffee. No problem, Buster. Look like you had a late night. It's all good. Hope your stream went well last night. Defense against the dark classes. So, in your first day, attend defense. Yeah, so we have to do this class next. New quest available. Attend to, uh, yeah, let's do that. Hello there. What? You're the new student, aren't you? What do you want? Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Do you Samantha like evil? Dale, I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. She doesn't look Hope evil. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I need an evil girlfriend. That chick earlier, she she looked like she she could turn pretty quickly. Uh, hold your own. Wasn't too challenging. Yeah. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Rebellion. Let me look around up here a little bit first. Get out of here! Scat, scat! Now we wait and see what happens in chat. Let's, let's watch chat go crazy. Let's see what happens, chat. You're grounded, Buster, says MD. I was just testing you. I need an evil cat on my team. You've passed the test. Welcome. Well, poor kitty. Ha ha ha. <laughs> okay. Revelio. Okay. I found a chest. And then the werewolves join You can't the imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. And by the end of it. The Minister for Magic was Albert what? Boot. The hell is that no, thing? <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boys. Ravenclaw this student. Telling lies, peeves. This is exactly why Albert we didn't join Boots. that shit. Look at this. It was Basil Flat. Ooh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the Minister a Boot or the Minister a Flack? Wow. Stop it, peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble Roll. you'll be, but you can't get peeves a smack. She says it's a Boot and he says it's a Flack. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't Flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> Wait, what? How do we mod uh Rebellion. Okay. 
Okay, so if we want, mm, I don't know if I'm thinking about this right. Is there a reference somewhere? Or is that is this all the info I got? What is this? Uh, Hellflop, you're getting a huge straight one without YouTube taking 30% by using his link. Thank you, Buster. Coming in hot already. Here's a quote from a Reddit user. Turning down fog to medium lets me turn on all ray tracing and all other settings to ultra without stuttering or breaking frames per second. Turning fog to medium. There's all my stuff's already on medium. I'm not even like pushing my card. My card, my GPU is running at 36% right now. Like it's not even. It spikes to 44. So I, I don't know. Whatever. Ah, uh, zeros. I think Ray said I need zeros, right? Is that what it was? How's your daughter just got back? Uh, she's at the hospital with my wife right now. We're doing an x-ray right now. So I'm kind of uh, back and forth texting with her a little bit. So if you see me a little bit slow to read things or something, I'm just trying to get updates there too. Um, uh, da, 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 da. The outside numbers have to add up to the center. So each symbol has a value. Yeah, I know that. I just don't know what the values are. That's why I asked if there was a reference. So wait, there's a horse unicorn thing there. Or No worries, I dropped my gun. It's all good. I don't care that much. It's all good. Uh, let me see. I'm not really in uh, puzzle mode right now. Let's see. So to the left side, differentiate between right side. Where? How do you... All right. Off we go to the fucking next quest. What am I playing? Okay. Ravelli. Guess I should be doing that more, eh? What's that? Hey, name's Floppy Wand. Did you want to change that? <laughs> okay, I'm out of here. What? what are you up to now? Huh? 
Is it the same woman on every thing? That's creepy. good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Uh, okay, I dropped my gun, thank you. It's a memory leak for the patch on February 10th, isn't it today? Okay. Set your wand with blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's... Levioso! Levioso! Uh, the cut screen- the cutscenes are lagging. They're just- it's just the frames are dropping because of the game. It's the game. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. Yeah, so it's lagging right now. It's not like it's a frames are dropped. Yeah, yeah, that's bad, eh? It's not going above 26 right now. Perform a basic cast, okay. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Levioso. Well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. What's up, pussy? Guess who passed fucking wizardry school? Get off my table. Get your ass handed to you. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. Wait, what? Is your computer hot? Put you no, everything's fine. And you rose to the challenge. The game's Points new. It needs a slithering. patch. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelons entirely. Nuts. Understood, Professor. So, 
I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Make Sebastian swallow floppy. Is there meant oh, to be right. some commas That's in there? Or? Spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. These rooms are killer. Ah, uh, yeah. Now we're back up to sixty. It's like the cutscenes and like the the weird. It's the game itself. Unless you load into a different area, like go outside, then it drops a bit, but then it recovers. So it's interesting. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Well, gee, okay. <laughs> Here, let me practice my... Bring that ass over. A Asio to me. Yeah. Okay, not working. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Gotcha. Rebellion. Okay, level two lock. Gotcha. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Hi, Amac. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Uh, I've had my share of wand combat. It was never used my wand in combat. I mean, that's kind of a lie, but I'm a liar. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Um, fuck yeah. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. Let's get into some if underground you want to get fights. The most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Where's this chest? Above us? There's a chest on my mini map. Revelio. Can't look up. I don't know. The icon has a little arrow on it. All right. So what are we doing now? New quest available. I haven't uh, picked one. We have the map here. Side quests are now available. Available side quests can be found inside regions of Hogwarts. Marked as a black flag and discovered by exploring the world. These quests will, uh, reward XP, but do not advance the main story. Roger that. So. Oh, I see. These are totally different areas. Like, holy shit. Professor Weasley wants to see me in her classroom, which is off the Transfiguration Courtyard. Located between the library annex and the astronomy wing. Hopefully she has a word on replacing my lost supplies. Okay, let's do the lost supplies, and then we'll get some side quests going, I guess. So we can do that. Let's track this one right now. Get back in. Uh, I gotta go... Uh, bye, the Jack. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Good seeing you. The first rule of Fight Club is you don't talk about your wand, because it's creepy, says Buster. Buster, do you want to see my wand? Can... Cast some spells. Cast some spells on you. 
with my wand. Hiya! Okay, can't jump over that. Lumos. You see my light? Let me open. Okay. But what survives the reign of this headmaster? I think we should have a moon calf in charge. Revelio. Lumos. If someone gets struck by a cursed broom, we do hope it's you. Wait, what was that? Lumos. The hell was that? Okay. What? Let me oh, my Rebellion. Not a one of them deserves more than a team. Painting of Ilias. The painting depicts the young orphan wizard Ilias, who famously saved his entire village from an army of dementors and the dark wizard Raxidian by conjuring a mouse. By conjuring a mouse, Patro, Pat, Patro, Patronus. Is that like a type of salami? Rebellion. Shit. Okay. Nice to see you, my young friend. She's moody, eh? She. Both sides of the scale on that one. Rebellion. This fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of a wyvern on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumors to the contrary, possibly started by Sir Katagogon. This is most assertedly not meant to be the Wyvern of Y, slain by Lively Knight in spite of himself. Alright. Uh, a little flip. It's getting an x-ray right now. So I'm waiting for the status on that. Interesting. We're having that memory leak issue that... Uh, no one survived does that as well. See that? See all the shit that's going down here? That weird color, it's the same one no one survived or whatever, it does the same thing. We might save the game and uh, just do a quick uh, reboot of it. It seems like it might need to do that every hour or two. Take note of the frames for a second. Once you go outside of Hogwarts walls in the Hogsmeade, all the NPCs wandering around are chugging your CPR, not the GPU. Okay. Well, G my CPU doesn't seem to be struggling too much. All right. What about the room, Professor? I'm going, I was MD. thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. MD, I think there's like 150 oh, plus hours uh, in the game, excuse, so... Excuse, Deke. We won't be beating it today. <laughs> ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Fuck, uh, Weasley. Do I lie to this woman or not? She's just got those hips, you know? And it's just like... You know, those hips, they just don't lie. You, Shakira. No. Do the Shakir song. Why isn't it working? Fuck. Thought I had the Shakir song on that button. Oh, this is awkward. 
Uh, hasn't Professor Fig said anything? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? I don't know, he alert! He continues to be reticent about the details. A Mac 89 throws $22.61 at floppy sword's thick juicy thighs. That's correct, Professor. Bring Harmony Granger back in the game, or I'll fight Yell with my wand. I swear, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Uh, sorry, Amac, bad timing there. Let me play that again here for you. A Mac 89 throws $22.61 at Floppy Sword's thick, juicy thighs. Bring Harmony Granger back in the game, or I'll fight Yell with my wand. <laughs> I swear. Cool. <laughs> Thank you so much for the dono. Appreciate that. The, uh, should I make the joke or no? No. Saudi Arabian. 84.99. Thank you so much, A Mac 89. I appreciate that. It's a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, and yes, bring, bring Harmony Granger, the 18 plus, uh, back in the game. Yes. Okay. Professor Ronan mentioned that. I'm going to ask your professor to help hasten your progress with some extra time. Yeah, that's fine. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your hey, classes ben, well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. It's like wearing a strap on or using your own thing, right? That's what it sounds like to me. You always want to use your own, I would assume. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Uh, which one's uh, Natsai? Is that the one that I did the ball game with? Is that the one Natsai? Is, is that the one we were we were smashing balls together? Is that who that was? Don't know alert. A Mac 89 throws $5.32 at Floppy Sword's thick, juicy thighs. Say the joke again and I'll fight you with my wand. Do it. Hey, Mac, I, I dare you. I Do it. Rolling on the floor, laughing, 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 rolling on the floor, laughing. I don't know why you're so embarrassed about your South African uh, currency. I don't. Why are you ashamed of it? Yes, now he's the one you place with the balls. Thank you, Amac, for another SAR 1999. What's the R stand for again, though? Seriously, it's Saudi Arabian Ruffles Chips? Yeah, I don't know. Sebastian for the win. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Fucking underground Mr. fight clubs and uh, some and black art area. stuff. God damn yeah. You well Hook me up. clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, Thank you, Amac. Your Appreciate friend it. will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. 
The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. A butterbeer. Okay. Rebellion. Speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Assignments are types of quests given to you by Hogwarts professors. That one completed reward you with new spells. The reward for completing your first assignment will be the Mending Charm Reparo, which is required to complete other quests. Okay. You can track assignments and the progress in the quest menu of your field guide. So yeah, I assume the Reparo probably unlocks certain areas. I assume we have to repair, like, I don't know, probably a bridge or some shit, right? Real, real, real. <laughs> uh, thank you, Amac, again. That's appreciate it very much, very, very, very much. Hello, kitty. Rebellion. Where, oh, there it is. Partial transfiguration. This partially transfigured teacup, likely the soon-to-be reversed error of a second year. Serves as a cautionary tale for those students who do not take seriously the complexities and dangers of the transfiguration. Uh, Stream Elements, can you stop spamming my chat? What the fuck? Rebellion. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Okay. Looks like another lock over there. Alright, I'm gonna do a quick uh reboot of the game here. What the hell is that? Was st stream elements is late on that? What the hell was that? What happened there? All right, let me save this game. Where do I do that at? Uh, save game. There it is. I'm going to reboot because I'm having a memory leak here and the game's not running super great. I'm just going to see if this helps for a bit. It'll just take me a second here. It's time for me to go pick up the children of mine from school. Be back. See you in a bit, Kimberly. Interesting. I don't think there's anything else that I have open that would be really fucking with the game, so I think it's just that. Fat Belly, save or uninstall? <laughs> I like it. I like the game. It's fine. It looks great. It's a really, really nice looking game. How much is the price for a tattoo? Uh, what? I don't know. Like a... Depends where you go, I guess. I haven't got tattoos uh, in a while. I feel like the prices have gone up a lot. It's Rayal, right? Rayal, Rayal. Oscar Mikey's what up? Hey, Floppy, any griefers yet? Uh, I think Medusa nuked somebody earlier. I, I don't know what they did, but it, it felt good. <laughs> We're all good over here. How you doing, Oscar? I'm just loading the game back up here. We're loading the shaders. Here, we can watch that if you want. A bit of a memory leak, so we're just uh, rebooting the game. Uh, so far, everything's great. I, the gameplay is pretty fun. Nothing's too complicated or anything. A lot of story. I'm hoping it kind of opens up a little bit more where I kind of can free roam and do some things instead of just kind of, I don't know.
Fifty Shades of Floppy. I don't need to cast Asio to make you come, says Nicole. Wow. This isn't a prostate exam, Nicole. Whoa! <laughs> Floppy, what the f***? Remember the tools that exist to help you navigate objectives. The V-Charmed Compass and Minimap can work together to help you reach any objective. All right, so right now we're doing a re we're reporting to Professor Ronan. And this is for which one? Additional assignments. The hell just... Oh, interesting. So if you double-click V, it uh, shows you the little... Tinkerbell path. The the book page. Uh, there's a new spam bot that we've been dealing with. True. Tattoo's minimum 60 bucks, then the price can go over a thousand for the a back piece. Yeah, isn't it per size though too? It's like uh last time I remember I thought it was like a hundred bucks per square inch or something. But it depends on the artist. I mean it depends. They're all so different. Uh, one second here. I'm just getting an update from the wife here. So they don't see a break in her ankle. For those who are curious, it's a huge strain on the uh, ankle. She will need crutches still because it's uh, so bad. It is. A, it looks like a half a baseball coming off the outside of her foot. They're going to look further at the x-ray just to make sure there's a specialist, I guess, or something that's going to look at the x-ray later. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out, and uh, I had to leave for a bit there and waiting around for me. Let me just reply to her. All right. Uh, let's see. Alan Curson. Afford Unfortunately, yes. Price for tattoos has gone up. My suspicion would be that it's due to raw materials like paper and such, plus the hardware. I think the price of everything's gone up. Nicole, is that a wand in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? Hey, Mac, I'm griefing on Floppy not memorizing the currency, so I want him to tattoo it on his arm so we won't forget again. There's no room on my arm. We could do a tattoo over my tattoos. Hi, Bobby. First live I have been able to catch. Love the content. Thanks for the entertainment. Good to see you, Alan. Thanks for uh, jumping in the chat as well. Thanks for being here. All right. Let's go talk to this motherfucker. Uh, ladies. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up. Makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I'm not sucking any more old man balls, okay? Today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. All right. Collect the flying page near the broken statue. Collect the flying page in the defense against the dark areas. Dark Arts Tower. Rebellion. Accio. What is shining Rebellion. here? The broken statue. That's not the broken statue. It tells you where it's at, Floppy. This just follow the, right the thing. Area. Wonder where the flying pages. Got it. Got gotcha, you, bitch. 
Okay, dropping frames. Everything's okay, bro. Relax. What's this thing all about? Rebellion. Interesting. All right, we're going to get the flying page uh, in the flying page must be around here somewhere. Okay, I don't even know why I have a stream. This guy just wants to fucking run the whole show, I guess. I'll just shut the fuck up. Okay, return to Professor Ronan. We're still doing some pretty goddamn easy quests here. I need something interesting soon. I trust the preliminary. Though. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. <laughs> now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. He wants to repair out his nuts. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Shut up. Just do this. Oh, wait. Different buttons. I wasn't ready for that. Where's the delicioso uh, pizza spell? Kind of hungry. The mending charm or reparo can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. Roger that. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. So, don't you all know this uh, spell, basically? Like, aren't I behind? Why has nobody fixed this? There's a lot of lazy-ass people around this place. He's telling you that you're staying after class for some extra wand tips, but just the tips. <laughs> Says Eric. Uh, let's see. My mod is tatted up. Hello, mom. How you doing? Says Amac. Nice. I always find a girl with tattoos beautiful. Says Amac. Hey, Mac, zip your wand up, bro. Let's zip it up. Let's put that wand back in there. Just tuck it in there. The tip and all. Just... Just... Just curve it in and tuck it in there. Put it away for now. Okay, Mac. All right, let's not get too, uh... Right, there's no floppy dating service here yet. It's soon to launch. Don't worry about it. I have a cat on my shoulder and a sunflower on my calf. This is Nicole. How about the door that has the animals along the edge and the equation on the door? That'd be a good thing to do. But I wouldn't like to redo something nice. Are we all talking about tattoos? Is that what's happening? Okay, pizza spell would be nice. Only had spinach dip and sourdough for lunch. Solar, member for two months. Hey, Floppy and Fam. Also, thanks for whoever got me the membership. Love all of you. Hi, Solar. All right, let's do this spell. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. Uh, Mumod and Nicole are killing me. Come on, girls. Yeah, we 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 have fun here. We just don't perv it up too much in the creep in the creep zone. There's a creep uh, thing. You're good. You're, everything's good. Everybody's good. This chick's not good. She's experiencing something wonderful or something terrible. I'm not sure. That wand is, uh... What's the... Wow. Wand in quotes, huh? <laughs> okay. Back on track. Accio. Repairer. Rebellion. Alright, let's see. We have more quests here. Let's see if we want to do a main or side or what's on the list. Where's my quest things here? Let's do this. So, ten your first day, visit Hogsmeade. We still haven't done that. That's still our first quest, so maybe we should just continue that. 
and then we can start moving into the more serious stuff. Uh, Professor Weasley has arranged me to visit the nearby village of Hogsmeade, and we're gonna go with that Sebastian Swallows dude. <laughs> uh, so let's go. Let's go see that guy. Uh, yeah, it's already marked on the map. Let's get out of here. Wand was put on vibrate, says Andrew. Repair a spell would work on your ass. There's a crack in it, says Nicole. <laughs> uh, doors. Duh! Revelio. Collect field guide pages. Got it. Okay. I don't know what that one was, but... Oh, dear baby Jesus. Uh, starts at zero? So is this thing zero? That little weird troll-looking owl cat dog thing? The bottom left? Repair a spell would work on your ass. We read that. It's already hidden. Uh, I'm just showing my appreciation and beauty of tattoos of girl. That's it, I swear. All good, eh, Mac? Wow, there are like 37 spells for you to learn. You're going to need a bigger wand, Flappy Sword. We're getting one soon, I think. Uh, yes, it is zero. I figured that out on my own. 100%. No help from anybody. All right, let's continue on here. Let me see if I can actually do one here. I'm about to quit already. <laughs> All right, so this one's pretty easy. Let's do, we got 11 and then the weird, whatever the hell that thing is, is two, is 13. So we need eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is the octopus looking thing. So I guess it's this one. Did I not do this right already? Wait, what? Zero, one, two. Am I not understanding that right? You miscounted? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I did. Thank you. Yeah, good. Okay. And then this shit is, uh, what the hell is that? A crab? So five and... What does it go up to? Up to nine? So we're at 14. So we need, uh, the Medusa. We're looking for the Medusa here. Where? What the hell is it? Wait, what? Revelio. Wait, what the fuck is this? Where's the other thing? Is it be? Do I need a key to do this one? Fucking! Are we not ready for this one? I started at zero, Ray. Started. I started. Everything's fine. So I guess we can't do this one yet then. Rebellion. Bullshit. I really have made a mess of things. No time for you. I gotta go see my bud, Sebastian. <laughs> Out of the way, bitch-ass door. Wow. Holy shit. Akio. 
Revelio. Oh, where is it? I wish I could look up all the way. When you really think about it. All right, We've got six of eight. Wait. Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Hmm. I'd hate transfiguration if it wasn't. Ah, uh, three sister bells. The three sister bells are said to be a tribute to three similarly named beautiful steep ridges that rise majestically over Glen and Argla. It is rumored that one can hear them ring in the glen way across the highlands when they are rung in the castle locals have been baffled by the mysterious ringing for years how many times can you say ring and rung in one paragraph okay Revelio. the goblin artifact horns like this were used by goblins during the 1612 goblin rebellion to rally troops and generally annoy witches and wizards. This horn was discovered in the aftermath of the rebellion. Uh, behind the Hog's Head Inn, with a wedge of Gorgonzola stuffed inside, presumably to mute it. Sounds delicious. Uh, upstairs. Upstairs. Ha <laughs> ha, upstairs. Time Sword, look upstairs above the door. You're trying to unlock. You should be pressing R the entire time, homie. Missing free zone. Why don't you guys drive to my fucking house, sit down and play the fucking game for me, okay? Well, Why don't you just you draw your there. little fucking asses over here? It's not that far. Middle of nowhere in Canada? Bring it. Come on over. I'll go make some beef stew Hello, potato Scott. stew. Ah, my new charm. I'll feed you. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? Hi, Sebastian. It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? There's so much you are missing. Free XP says Ryu. Do you know what I'm not missing though? Is fucking being bored out of my mind. I'm doing stuff. Hot on! Why not catch a flight? Hello, Elsa's cat. <laughs> Road trip. Do 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 do. Ba da ba do ba 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 da ba da ba di ba ba da ba da ba 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 You do you, boo boo. Uh, where are you going? I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Muggle school is so Rebellion. Of course. I'd imagine. Never been to a muggle school myself. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well rounded. Rebellion. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. This is super fucking annoying hitting R all the time. I hate it. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me was able to convince old Scribner that I have somewhere to be.
Jog faster! Can you can't. The librarian's bad side. Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. Revelio. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. By far, the best part of the game so far. Revelio. That guy, huh? Looks like a raven claw or some guy. Beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look. What? what? What's what are, going on? What? What? See for yourself. Holy shit! Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that. Over They're here. horse pigeons. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriff? Rebellion. Absolutely. Likely already named them too. Prance hoof and sugarfoot. Okay. Great, great content there. Okay. Let's see. Water looks nice. Damn, the bro. The Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsby just past those ruins up ahead. Okay, well, I want to go here, for Christ's sake. Revelio. Watch it. This is pretty awesome. This is a pretty great Harry Potter game. I keep saying Harry Potter game, but Hogwarts, Hogwarts uh, world game. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? Pretty nice. A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. I wrestled your mum in bed for weeks. I am dropping some frames right now, if you're wondering why it's choppy. It is what it is. I wish Hogwarts would teach us how to become animagi. <laughs> I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. When I picked you, man, I, I wasn't really down for all the chit-chat, you know? Rebellion. Pet the kitties? There should be like an achievement or something if you pet all the cats. Like a... A pussy collection. <laughs> uh. yeah, oh, okay. I guess a lot of... Some, uh, some cats make weird sounds, I guess. Mr. Moon! He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for Bye, wear. Bye, cat! Thanks for being here. Hello, Mr. Moon. 